Love them and hate them, snakes always seem to engender strong feelings. It makes sense given all the history, mythology, secrecy and speculation surrounding the lives of snakes. A little bit of curiosity about how these inscrutable creatures reproduce is only natural. And if you're here that very question how do snakes mate is most likely on your mind. When it comes to snake reproduction, the facts are almost as interesting and confusing as some of the fiction. Male snakes have two penises each with its own testicle, but they only use one at a time. During copulation, the male inserts one hemipenis into the cloaca of the female to transfer his sperm. Female snakes can become pregnant immediately or choose to delay fertilization, storing sperm up to five years. Female snakes give off pheromones that attract males. In species that form a mating ball, the female is surrounded by males. However, the female can control which of the males she mates with. Not all snakes reproduce sexually. Some are able to reproduce asexually. Mating season is generally in the spring, although it can be a year-round in tropical climates. Most snakes lay eggs, but about a third of the snake species give birth to live babies. Reproduction is the cornerstone of all life, and the impact of the environment and circumstances can lead to the development of some truly unusual differences in how organisms reproduce. There are more than 3,000 snake species on the planet, and while we can recognize the process of mating among snakes, is generally not that different than the practices of most animals. There's a surprisingly wide gap in our biological understanding of a snake's courtship, breeding, and reproductive practices. It was until 2010 that it was discovered some snakes can breed asexually, and mating rituals among snakes can vary wildly, considering the breed of species and the scale of environments they inhabit. However, we do know quite a bit of how snakes mate and that knowledge can help to make these cold-blooded predators seem less alien. When mating season happens for snake species, it appears to be almost entirely contingent on the climate of their ecosystem. In areas with a conventional year constructed of four distinct seasons, snakes will feel the urge to breed in spring. This is often just after they wake up from rumation, the reptilian equivalent of hibernation, which usually takes place through the winter. It is natural for mating to peak as the sunlight comes out and provides more energy to snakes, but it makes sense for intergenerational survival as it allows snakelets to be born in the summer when food and sunlight are most readily available. In regions with more complicated climate patterns, there may be multiple mating seasons, and in tropical and some subtropical regions, mating can happen throughout the year instead of a traditional mating season. No matter what part of the world a snake is born in, mating habits have adapted to ensure one critical thing above all else, that the young can develop enough to properly survive the cold season. Of course, practical needs always prevail. Both male and female rattlesnake in Wyoming are solitary and forage for themselves, but males have consistently proven to be more effective at employing efficient hunting methods. That allows them to spend the latter part of the season focusing less on foraging for their food and more on seeking out a mate. So how do snakes mate? Considering their lack of limbs and blankly emotionless features, it can be hard to imagine what snake mating dances might look like apart from a lot of slithering. The fact is that mating courtship is common among snakes, but both the process of recording mating and the act of interpreting it can be difficult. Despite this, there's a growing body of research regarding the courtship rituals of various snake species and the recurring factors between them. This includes patterns that suggest the behaviors for territorial fights between males and mating rituals adapted alongside one another. Snake breeding is not rough by nature, but the various movements and undulations seem to have developed in tandem and influence one another. There are clear behaviors that most snakes developed to differentiate the body language of hostility from a mating proposal. Fighting males of most species will lift their head to fight but not when they're looking to proposition a mate. Territoriality over mates is common among snakes but not always bloody. Rattlesnake will fight without their fangs in what amount to a wrestling match when pursuing the same mating partner. Studies into viper mating rituals are comprehensive enough that researchers can identify a whole range of courtship gestures largely shared between his family. Various forms of nibbling, undulating, and caressing have been identified among most vipers. It is a body of knowledge sophisticated enough that they can even recognize uniquely speciated behaviors. This is the case with the short-tailed viper, where females have been identified quivering as part of their vocabulary of courtship gestures. Many species of snake breed in a ball often known as a mating knot. This is a tactic employed by a common garter snake 
which is one of the most popular snake throughout the United States and Canada. When a female garter snake awakens from rumation in the spring, they do so a few days behind males. That extra time allows the males to get in the peak condition for a fierce battle to procreate. When female garter snakes arrive in the light, they find themselves overwhelmed by a mass of aggressive and amorous snakes all trying to breed with her. It's more than a simply matter of who gets there first. Both female and male snakes have a single hole called a cloaca, which contains the reproductive organs and serve as the end point for their digestive and urinary system. The goal of the males is to get access to the female's cloaca for breeding, but she generally has more control over the situation than the free-for-all appearance. Females can choose to open or close their cloaca, so while males scramble on her in a ball, she gets to decide who in the mating knot to breathe with. Of course, how will male snakes fare against other males in the mating knot can have a dramatic effect on whether or not he can even get close enough to breed. Green pythons are another species known to mate by forming a mating knot, demonstrating that size and danger aren't an impediment towards this mating methodology. There's some evidence to suggest that this form of group mating is an adaptation developed primarily in ecosystems with shorter seasons of warmth and sunlight. Maximum competition between mates in a short period only increases the viability of young surviving longer. Not all snakes breed in a ball, though these reptiles certainly aren't monogamous breeders that mate for life. Females of species that don't form mating knots still give off pheromones that attract males, but the first to reach her will often engage in a non-lethal combat to prove their value as a mate. This seems to be more common in ecosystems where there are fewer time restrictions for a viable mating season and where snake populations tend to be lower or more widely dispersed. For the most part, snake species tend to primarily engage in polygyny, where males have multiple partners and females typically have one. The male reproductive organs of a snake include two penises. Each has separate reservoir of sperm. This allows them to mate successfully with two females in a short period. Male reproductive organs are otherwise kept hidden within the cloaca and emerge in the open only for mating. The actual breeding process can take anywhere from an hour to a day depending on the species, though the male lives and does not continue to have a part to play in the hatching of eggs or raising of young. While a majority of snakes lay eggs, which then hatch into baby snakes, about 3 in 10 species give birth to live young. Eggs aren't viable in water, so partly aquatic snakes will retreat to land to lay their eggs in a nest. Sand and grass are common sites for nests, and mothers may make an effort to cover up their eggs. A decision that can help protect them from predators and keep them warm enough to properly incubate. Even sea snakes, which live in the water and breed in the water, slither onto land at least long enough to give birth. Parenting responsibilities can vary wildly between species. While it was once believed that no species of the snake had parental instincts, it's now known that python mothers care for their young for weeks after giving live birth, and they do so at great personal cost. Mother pythons don't eat anything during their pregnancy and can lose up to 40% of their body weight during this time. That alone can be fatal. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you and be safe.